Good day guys and thank you for joining us. Today we are going to be discussing customized reporting with Sage 200. Brent, firstly, Sage has various different uh, versions of their products as they evolve. Um, so what was the reporting called and what is it called today? Alright, so in the older versions of Sage 200, it used to be called BIC or the Business Intelligence Center. Now it has evolved into the name SIC, which is called Sage Intelligence Report. And does it offer the ability to produce customized reporting in Sage 200? That is correct. So the purpose of Sage Intelligence Reporting is to connect information within the back end so that you can get specific reports that you require that may not be in included into the standard reports within such Sage. So how does it work? All right, so Technically, it is a module. It has um, there is a separate module that you need to purchase separate from the core of the product that you will originally get. Then there are two steps to the module. The first side of the module that you will then need to purchase is Sage Intelligence Reporting Standard, which is um, the, the, the beginner's side of it. And then you have the Sage Intelligence Reporting Advanced, which involves the connector, which is all the back end information. Let's talk about the user functionality. Is it user friendly? All right, so we spoke about the two separate sections of the module, the advanced and the, and the standard. The standard, uh, the standard comes with the report manager. The report manager is pretty user friendly. This is gives you the ability to run your standard your, your reports that have already been built with inside the system, um, whether they've been built by a separate company or by one of your own guys internally using the advanced. But you would run your report through the report manager. You would then choose your parameters depending on date from, date two, as examples, and you would be able to get your information. Don't forget that the Sage Intelligence Reporting module requires Excel to run. Right? And then from the advanced side of the module, that is where you would basically plug into the back end of the data and you would join certain views, certain tables to be able to create an entirely new raw data information that can hold across many and many backend tables in order to get your reporting information out. From there, you can then work with inside Excel to update your graphs, update your, um, your pivots, whatever you choose to put into your Excel sheet and save it back using the reporting manager in order to get a customized report out of the system. What if I wanted to create my own customized report? You're mentioning a lot of back end through what you're saying. What level of experience or knowledge would I require in order to work effectively on the back end? Well, Julian, one of the biggest things uh, that I get asked on a regular basis is how do I get this certain information out of the system? Now, it is important to have knowledge of the back end, depending on how extensive, all depends on what type of report you want to produce. If you're trying to report a, stand, a, a report on, let's say, for example, manufacturing, that only really involves two or three tables, depending on what information you want, and that can very easily be um, figured out using functions like the data dictionary, which is given to you with the installation disk of Sage, as well as getting assistance from someone like myself. I get calls on a regular basis saying, I want to produce a debtor's ledger. What information do I need to connect in the back end? And I'll say, oh, you need to connect the post AR, which is technically the transaction table for the customers, as well as the client table, which is your master table for the customers. That way you can get your the customer detail along with the transactions that have happened against it. But again, if you want to produce something like a VAT report and the extensivity that comes with a VAT report or a management pack report, you're starting to look at joining multiple back-end data as well as having to write your own SQL scripting. And so it can get quite technical depending on the level of reporting you want to do. So mentioning the technicality thereof, you've also mentioned basic and advanced. What is the training that you get with your installation or over time? All right, so I spoke already about uh, how I get a lot of phone calls and you can get assistance and um, job specific training from your consultancy company who will easily be able to provide you with that. That is catered for your business. But with Inside Sage themselves, they actually provide a number of courses specifically for Sage Intelligence Reporting within Sage 200. This can go from all the way beginners, teaching you how to run the report manager, how to save Excel templates back, 
etc etc as well as going all the way through to advanced dealing with the connector how to do joins what a join actually means as well as functions like the financial report designer which is a macro enabled um, excel sheet that is built in within sunsage and how to utilize that function so it, it can go from the beginners to the advanced with sage but at the end of the day no one's going to know the back end straight off the bat i mean there's a lot of detail there and it comes with time and it comes with learning and it comes and that comes from a lot of my clients like i said call me on a regular basis and i explain it to them and help them to build their own customized reports to be honest jill i can talk all day on the sage intelligence reporting as well as the connector how it works how the back end works how to do multiple joins so on and so forth and it can get very technical but I could speak also for 10 minutes on it and you would never have spoken enough. So like I said before, it all comes with time and it all comes with learning. Thank you very much for sharing with us today, Brie. No problem at all. Bye guys. Bye.